Okay, so we're really excited because Samsung just released their Jelly Bean update. And so today we're going to show you how to upgrade your Samsung Galaxy Note 10.1 to the brand new Jelly Bean operating system. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to need to go into settings. So the quickest way is to click on that little clock there in the lower right hand corner and then click on settings. From here, we need to take the left side and scroll all the way down to the bottom to about device. Then you'll notice that it says software update. Go ahead and click on that. First thing it's going to need to do is download the new software update. This could take a while dependent upon your connection. So as you notice this is uh, downloading here. It is almost half a gig and so we're just going to go ahead and fast forward our our tutorial to show you what it looks like. Okay so as you can see my download has completed and we are ready to install Jelly Bean. Uh, please take a minute to read your software update and then hit install. It warns you that you can't do anything while this update is being performed and that the device will need to be rebooted. Uh, just give it a moment it will reboot and then it will begin installing Jelly Bean. Now this is the screen that um, should pop up for you. You notice the little Android character and we're obviously working on his systems here. Uh, as this progress bar grows, your update's being installed. So once you hit OK, the device will be restarted and you'll be presented with this screen right here. And that's our little Android getting worked on. Um, once the status bar reaches 100%, we'll be ready to start working with Jelly Bean. Please take a moment here to subscribe to our channel so that we can deliver you some more tutorial content in the future. Thanks. Okay, it looks like we're at 100% and we're going to get one more restart out of this. A little bit more waiting to do. And there we go, we're back alive. Now most of your applications should transfer right over into Jelly Bean, but you're going to want to double check in the Play Store uh, which applications will need updates. You're also going to need to check inside the Samsung Application Store to update any of those devices as well. You will also notice some subtle differences between uh, certain Samsung applications such as S-Note, Polaris Office, and even no, um, there, there will be some subtle differences, uh, but they are pretty amazing. And uh, I mean, for as useful as they were before, there's even some added functionality now. Right now, we're just going through the app optimization. And depending upon how many applications you have, that's, that's going to depend on how much uh, time this will take. OK, it looks like all of our apps have been optimized. And now the system starts up. And then this should be the final screen just to verify that you are all done installing Jelly Bean. So to get started with Jelly Bean, I just want to show you a couple of quick things. Uh, first of all, if you go down to your quick start menu, you'll notice that you have options now for cascade view and dual view. So the dual view is the side-by-side -side computing that you would recognize from the previous operating system. However, uh, you have the ability to adjust the sides. Um, so like for instance, let's go ahead and uh, open up S-Note. First thing you're going to notice is little clouds pop up. If you're signed in with Samsung, all of your content will be stored in the cloud, which is great for accessing it later. Okay, so let's go ahead and hit the plus symbol. We'll just open up a new note, and I just want to show you what this different function is going to look like. So we're used to the dual view or side-by-side -side computing. Uh, we're going to go ahead and open up an internet browser on the other side here. And you notice it splits my screen in half. Now I can easily adjust how much real estate goes for each application. Now, in contrast to that, I can also choose this cascade view instead, which means the other application floats right on top of this application. Now the nice thing about this is, 
I can continue to open additional applications and have them float directly on top. So let's say I'm researching some sort of math document. Um, I'm creating a document here. I'm doing a little research right here, but I also need access to my calculator so I can move him over there. Uh, we can pin things wherever we want them. And when we're done using a particular window, just hit the little X and it goes away. So those are just some of the subtle differences here between the two operating systems. Go ahead and get started and uh, start playing. Check out some of our other tutorials. We will go over S-Note. Um, we're also going to take a look at uh, Polaris Office and No. Thank you very much for watching.